I love hobbits. I love their small homes and their big feet, their breakfast and their second breakfast, their elevensies, their lunch, their afternoon tea, their dinner and their supper. I love how loyal they are to their friends and how they like to sneak out of parties to smoke pipe weed with Gandalf. <coughs> I really love hobbits. So much so that one afternoon I decided to make a hobbit name generator. Rather than stop to ask myself why, I jumped straight into how. I knew that it couldn't be that hard to code one, and after a little online searching, I found a website that kindly offered a basic HTML generator. Now I could easily enter terms into columns and have them recombine in random patterns. The more columns I included, and the longer the list of items in each, the more Hobbit names the generator would create. Two columns of ten would combine into a hundred, three columns of ten into a thousand, and four columns of ten into ten thousand. Tolkien never tells us how many Hobbits live in the Shire, but I thought 10,000 would be a good place to start. Now that I knew how to make a Hobbit name generator, I needed to decide what to put into the columns. How could I guarantee that the generated names would sound... Excuse me! I decided the best way forward would be to reverse engineer Tolkien's names and start compiling my columns from there. Bilbo Baggins. This, I would argue, is the most Hobbity of Hobbit names. It's humble, it's short, it's a bit goofy, just like hobbits themselves. And it has a very fine use of alliteration. Just looking at these two names, we can see that they could easily be split into four columns by syllable and recombined. And Bildo Baggins and Frobo Baggins sound pretty good as far as hobbit names go. Next, I took a look at the names of Frodo's three companions from the Fellowship of the Ring. Samwise Gamgee, Peregrine Took, and Meriadoc Brandybuck. These are great, memorable names, but they are irregular, meaning that they don't split and combine well. For example, if we added Sam and Wise into column one and two, then we might end up generating names like Frowise or Sambo, which are Likewise, splitting Meriadoc would lead to awkward names like Meriabo and Bildoc. There are similar problems with Peregrine and Took. So I decided to add two extra columns to the generator, one for irregular first names and one for irregular last names. After analyzing the five most famous hobbit names, I split Bill and Bo, Bag and Gins, then added Fro and Do. I added Samwise to the irregular column and split Gam and G. I added Peregrine, Meriadoc, and Mary to the irregular column and then split Pip and Pin. Finally, I added Took to the irregular column and split Brandybuck. And now I was about a third of the way to 10,000. As crazy as that sounds. But I needed more Hobbit names to split, so I went online. I started going through the known Hobbit names from Tolkien's collected works and picking out the particularly Hobbity ones. I liked Balbo Baggins, so I took the Bal for column one. I liked Falco Chub Baggins, so I took Fal for column one, Co for column two, and added Chub to the irregular column. I really liked the look of Griffo Boffin, so I split that into four syllables. I also really liked Hamfast Gamgee, so I split Ham and Fast. There were a number of Hobbit family names that worked really well, such as Proudfoot, Bracegirdle, Mugwort, Smallborough, and Longholes. Finally, there was Puttyfoot, but since I already had a foot in column four, I changed it to Toe. I plucked a few more splittable first names, like Holman, Minto, and Mungo, and suddenly, I was one syllable away from 10,000, so I added Poe to column two. But of course, I was only halfway done. Female Hobbit names present a bit of a challenge, as many of them are regular, and finding ten to split was much trickier. In the end, I went with Pansy, Belba, Daisy, Dora, Goldilocks, Belladonna, Camellia, Mirabella, Hannah, and Hilda. And suddenly, I was one syllable away from 20,000 names, so I added Lee. Both the regular name generators were working well enough, so the last thing I needed to do was to complete my irregular lists, and then I'd be finished. Yeah! 
So I added amaranth, lily, myrtle, poppy, pearl, peony, marigold, rosy, Eleanor, and adamanta. To finish the irregular first name column for male hobbits, I added Marmadoc, Elring, Vandalbrass, Maddock, Otho, and Hugo. And finally, I finished the irregular last name column by adding Underhill, Gardener, Pot, Cotton, Woodchild, Hornblower, Gamwich, and of course, the generator was finally finished. But how many unique hobbit names could it make exactly? I wasn't sure, so I started counting. It can make 10,000 regular hobbits with regular names, 1,000 hobbits with an irregular first name and a regular last name, 1,000 more with a regular first name and an irregular last name, and 100 hobbits with irregular first and last names. That makes a total of 12,100 or 24,200 male and female hobbit names. If we add the possibility for hyphenated names like Sackville or Chubb Baggins, the number of hobbit names increases by 2.2 million. That would make a grand total of 2,224,200 Hobbit names. That's a lot. Some might even say too many. I began to ask myself, what was the point? What is the point of making a Hobbit name generator? But then I remembered something Gandalf said. Hobbits really are amazing creatures. You can learn all that there is to know about their ways in a month, and yet, after a hundred years, they can still surprise you. Plus, they make great friends that are loyal as f and I don't know many these days who wouldn't think the world needs more of that. If you are at all interested in taking a look at the Hobbit name generators, I have included a link to them in the notes below.